Game on. Alright, everybody. Just doing a little more experimenting here on the At Games Legends Ultimate Machine. What I've done tonight is I've just taken a, a USB uh, 3.0 hub. You could probably use any type of USB hub here. And I plugged in a USB keyboard, a USB joystick, and the game ROMs being sideloaded here on this USB thumb drive. Plugged into one of the USB ports here. And you can see it's, a, it's an old, it's not a very good, it's like a 5 or $6 USB joystick here. But you can see it does control the menu here. Now, in the games I've been sideloading, today I've been trying some TurboGrafx-16, some Nintendo, some Super Nintendo, some Sega Genesis, and MAME 2016. Now, the MAME 2016 is probably the newest version you're going to get on the ARM processor on here, so we'll do a little gameplay of that as well. What I've noticed so far is the, uh, the joystick doesn't work inside the sideloader games, but it does work here on the menu. And the keyboard itself, it's just a regular USB keyboard here, doesn't seem to do too, too much. Some of the commands that are on the control panel here get represented here, but outside of that, you can't use tab to get to any menus or anything along uh, those lines. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just show you a couple of games I got going on here. Let me go back to uh, the uh, the main screen here. Now, again, I've loaded some TurboGrafx-16, and you're going to find that the uh, these emulators are not yet fully written for this type of machine. So they're going to be kind of hit and miss, what works, what doesn't, frame rates. Uh, but just a point of right now, it's just showing that these do work, and perhaps in the future someone can start writing them specifically for this machine. Now I did notice on at least uh, Donkey Kong, uh, on the other versions I had in the past versus the MAME 2016 here, the sound effects are working in this, this version, so you don't need any sound samples outside of that. So let's just go over here, just going to wait for the joystick to come back. Anytime you pick a game or make a selection here, it takes a few seconds for the joystick to come back, and here it is. So I'm on the, let's see, this is the main screen here. So here's, I haven't even tried this yet. Here's Mario World on the Super Nintendo. No idea if it's going to work, but we'll try it. And you have to wait a few seconds. So right now we see this game is not loading. So I'll go back to the main menu, quit out. And when we do quit, it'll take a few seconds once again before you get the control of the joystick back. But you can see now down here I have Punch Out MAME 2016. So that's the newest version of MAME. Uh, you're going to find the thing in the ARM processors right now. Just waiting to get my controller back. Wait a few seconds, wait a few seconds. Use takes, there we go. Let's see if Punch Out works on MAME 2016. And you can see we have sound effects. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try it out. Not sure how you start. Let's see if we can get in here. That could be as far as we get. Oh, there we go. Okay, we are seeing only the top screen. We're not seeing the actual screen of the gameplay. So that's what I'm saying. Some of these games will work, but it doesn't mean they're going to work properly on the machine. So if you like looking at the title screen and the, uh, the scoreboard, well, good. So I'm going to go out of here. At least we know that that does work. So when we do exit out here, again, it's going to take a few seconds before we get the controller to come back to the machine. I'm going to try going over here to Alien Crush on the TurboGrafx-16. There we go. So I go up here. It's going to load the game. And it looks really nice. The only problem I've seen so far is the run button is not mapped. So there's no way to actually even start to turn the volume down a little bit. Woo, that's loud. There's no way to actually start the game. No matter what button I press here, or even if I use an external keyboard, or my external joystick, even though the game is definitely running here, it looks like it runs at full speed, there's no way to actually initiate the run command. So that's going to be someone having to make some modifications to the emulator, or if that game gets us a way to remap keys, we could probably do it along those lines. 
but this is one of my favorite games on the TurboGrafx-16. Unfortunately, I can look at it, but I can't play it. So let's go out of this here. And we'll go back to our main menu, and we just have to wait until we get the controller back. Do 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 do. Just wait a few seconds. Hopefully, uh, they're going to make a little screen pop here saying it's loading or you know pause while it's doing what it has to do to get the control back. Here we go. So here is Donkey Kong on MAME 2016. Now, on the uh, regular MAME or MAME 2010, you only got some sounds. Not all the sounds are in the game. So I'm going to turn the volume up here, and I'm going to launch. Donkey Kong under MAME 2016. And you can hear my little dog Blue in the background. He's really upset he can't play the machine. Here we go. Let's just put in a credit. Too loud. And I'm also going to say that the sound works. But there's some crackling. It's still not 100% right. But it does work. And you can hear the sounds. Oh, I was falling into that trap. You hear some clicking in the audio, like some static. Now we can also pause the game and throw in some scan lines. And I think the scan lines actually do a pretty good job representing the old CRTs. Oh, man, Donkey Kong gets me every time. No Steve Weeby, am I? Oh, get up under there. Ah! Oh my god. Well, as bad as I'm playing the game, you see that it is playing the sound samples, it's playing at full speed, and MAME 2016 does seem to work, at least for the few games that I've tried. So I'm going to go back to the main menu here, quit the game, and again we have to wait a few seconds for the controller to come back. So I also have Devil's Crush on the, uh, on the TurboGrafx-16. And again, it looks great. Just no way to initiate the game to start. No matter what you hit. So hopefully someone can make a small modification to the either the emulator or if that game gives us some way to remap some keys on here, that'd be great. So we're going to go out of here because TurboGrafx-16 has got a lot of great games on it. So it's to, again, wait for the controller to come back. And I actually have tech in here on the, on the PlayStation. No idea if that's going to load. Haven't tried it. So we'll try it here with you guys right now. And we get a nice big black screen. So that's another emulator that does not fully work. Let's see if we can get control back or if it locks up. So far, I don't have any response. I might have to reboot the machine. I wouldn't be surprised if I do. I don't have anything, so I'm going to have to reset the machine. Oh, it came out on its own. It just took a few seconds. Now I have to wait a couple seconds to get the controller back. Not yet. There we go. Uh, we have Bonk's Adventure, which I'm sure is going to run, but I'll try it because I haven't tried it yet. Again, we probably won't have the ability to start the game. Okay, Devil's Crush ran, and um, uh, Alien Crush ran. It looks like the Bonk is not. It can be the ROM, possibly. I have no idea, but it's definitely not working, so we'll go back out. We have to wait a few seconds for it to come back to us. I have F0 installed here for the SNES. We'll give that a try as well. I haven't tried it yet.
also looks like it is not going to run. So let's see if we can get back to the menu here. We can, and we're gonna quit out. I have Comics Zone for the Sega Genesis. Let's see if we can get that to work. And again, it's entirely possible it's the ROM I have. I don't know if it may require a Japanese ROM, a European ROM, or an American ROM, but um, this is still very early to try all these things out. Okay, we're trying Comic Zone on the Genesis. And that looks like it's working. And again, it looks really nice on the screen here. So this is going to be absolutely a lot of trial and error so you can find what works and what does not. Three buttons are working here. Sound sounds pretty good. Everything seems to be very responsive. So that game seems to work okay. Again, it's going to be a lot of trial and error with this. So we come back out, we have to wait. I have Raiden installed under MAME 2016. Let's have to wait a second before we can get over to that option. And it does seem to work. Sound sounds pretty good. It definitely seems to be playing at full speed. So MAME 2016 seems to be working really, really well. So there's a lot of games that will work, obviously, with that. Whoa! Oh! Take it out. Let's see what else we got here. So the fact that MAME 2016 works is a huge deal, in my opinion, because it has a lot of games you can put on there, and it's a very stable version of MAME. And I'm not sure if I have any more games stalled in here. I have to wait for the joystick to come back.
There we go. I did install a uh, killing time for the 3DO. Again, no idea if that's going to work. Let's see what happens. Well, I'll say no. It went in and came right back out. But there's also a BIOS that's needed for like the PlayStation and the uh, 3DO. And I'm not sure how that's going to be implemented. I don't know. I don't really know how that's going to work because the way these are put on, it kind of builds a file and there's no way to add the ROM to it. So again, it might have to be some special enhancement to the emulator that comes down the pike later on down the road. But I also have blue lightning installed for the Atari Lynx. So as soon as my controller comes back, I'm going to go try that. And we have a small little box in the center of the screen, and it looks like that's it. So again, another one that's not really working, but it's not totally unexpected. None of these are really designed for this machine. And uh, let's see if I have anything else. I wait for my controller to come back. Uh, we have Cuber. What else did I put on here? Uh, now I did try Zookeeper. Uh, it did work, but it did run kind of slow. So let's take a look at that one. It's actually a very fun game, but as you can hear, it's not running at full speed, but it does play. So if you're not very good at this game, the fact that it's running slow, you probably do pretty good. a very fun game, but it's not quite the same running at, I would say it's probably running at 50 or 60 percent of normal speed, but again it is working so some optimizations would probably fix that. So we have to wait for the controller to come back. I have Quicks, or some people call Kicks, installed in here. It was a very good game, but uh, let's see how it plays. Now what I generally have to do when this happens, I simply go in, exit out, and go right back into the game, and it goes past that menu. And there we go. game but it can be difficult. Not quite. I think that's a game over. It is. But it does work. So let's see what else we have here. Now, with, obviously, with MAME 2016, you don't really need a lot of other emulators on here. I mean, MAME supports so many arcade games in there. But in any case, let's see what else we have here. Uh, I do have... Uh, da, 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 da. What do we have here? Forgotten Worlds. I want to see how that plays out. Haven't tried it yet. That's running under MAME 2016. Let's see what we get. It did not work. It looks like it crashed and exited. Again, not totally unexpected. 
Um, I did install Alien vs. the Predator from the Atari Jaguar. I really have no expectations of that running, but let's see what happens. Well, we have a loading screen. And it does not look like it ran. I really had no expectations. The Atari Jaguar is infamous for being difficult to emulate to begin with. And it looks like it just crashed and came out. So that was not a, uh, completely unexpected at all. Just have to wait for me to get the control back here. And what else do we have installed in here? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, uh, Popeye. Popeye is already running, also running on the main uh, 2016. I'm pretty confident that will run. I'm actually shocked it did not run. So, there you go. Like I'm saying, you're going to have to really experiment with this. That could be like the ROM I had was no good uh, or something along those lines, but it did not work. So I think that's really it uh, on here that I'm going to be able to show you tonight. I just tried a couple more games out. Tried using a USB keyboard. Tried using a USB joystick. Um, the joystick does work in the menu, but doesn't seem to work at all in the game itself. Um, so, again, this thing's only been out for about two weeks now. And uh, there's already just some emulators being started. And as you know, the community and emulators always get better over time. So, again, just a quick little video showing what I've been trying tonight. And I'm going to keep trying some more emulators, some more ROMs, and uh, see what else get, I can get working on here. I really would like to find some way to remap the controls or get the keyboard to work properly. So if you have an emulator where, like the TurboGrafx-16, you know it's going to work, but you can't start the game if the keyboard would actually still function as a true keyboard and not have been, I guess, disabled uh, by at games for whatever reason. So I'm going to reach out to them and see if there's something we could do about that. But in any case, I want to thank you all for watching. And, uh, well, till next time, everyone, remember, best you can, game on. the arcade fan page. Remember, don't admire people too much. They'll disappoint you. Sit, blue, blue, sit.
good dog.